Toge is one of the toughest disciplines of motorsport, battling seemingly unpredictable roads and your instincts to fully send it around every single corner. Over the last few years, I've spent a lot of time practicing my Toge skills. And in this video, I'm going to drop some knowledge on you and give you some tips that will help you become a better Toge driver. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Every form of motorsport stems from circuit racing in some way or another, and Toge is no different. I'm probably right in saying that most people that want to drive Toge don't really circuit race all that much. So I think showing you the fundamentals of circuit racing in a nice short package is a good place to start. Circuit racing is all about taking the fastest line for a corner. You make sacrifice speed at the start, but a nice straight line will get you through the corner quickly. This corner complex is from the Nordschleife. And what I want you to do is imagine or trace the fastest line you think you can take through here with your finger. I'll give you a few seconds to do it. So, does your line look like the purple one, the green one, or the red one? Which one do you think is fastest? Well, none of these are particularly fast. None of these lines actually open the corners up that much, and you can see they don't take a straight line through every single corner. Circuit racing is all about straightening the track as much as possible. So, I add these black lines. These are the points in which the car needs to get to to straighten the corner as much as possible. You can see we alternate from the outside of the track to the inside, thus straightening it out. So once again, I want you to imagine the line through the corner using all of the curbs that are highlighted. If it looked like this blue line, good job. That is the fastest line through this corner. Now we see the car take it. This is what people mean when they say they use all of the track. You can see we're just straightening out the corner as much as possible. And that is exactly what you need to do. Even if it means sacrificing speed at the start of the corner. So how does this translate over to Toge? Well, for Toge, you basically need to look at the road like a circuit. You need to imagine the apexes of the corner and straighten it out as much as possible. So let's look at an example from a toge. Although this looks like a road, you need to look at it like a track. So we imagine the apexes again, and we find the fastest line through using the apexes and straightening the track out. It may take some practice to start imagining these apexes and the lines you have to take, but after a while, it will just come naturally. Practice makes perfect after all. So let's take a look at another example now. This one's a bit more tricky. Once again, I want you to imagine the apexes on the corner and the line you have to take. I'll give you a few seconds to do that. So this time, these are the limits we are going to set for ourselves. I know they look a bit different to the previous examples, but I'll get onto that in a bit. This is the line you'll take. As you can see, we're using the limits. And these purple and green lines represent braking and throttle. Purple is brake, green is throttle, and blue is coasting. So let's see the car take it and analyze. So for this first corner, we actually hug the curve all the way round as it is just simply faster. You can see we're on the throttle the whole way and the big braking zone set us up for this. Once again, slow in, fast out. And now the limit is on the middle of the track. If we took it wide here, we wouldn't set ourselves up nicely for the final two corners. Once again, you have to prepare ahead of time and make sure you're set up for the following corners. So break in mid corner and setting the limit to the middle of the road enabled us to take those final few corners full throttle. And that is what it's all about. A fine balance between speed and cornering. If you've ever heard the term slow in fast out, you have to utilize that a lot in toge. Now, if you load up a toge and try this after watching this video and you can't quite get it right, do not worry. This all takes practice. Now, what I would recommend is practicing this on an actual racing circuit. They're actually built for this purpose and it will be a lot easier to learn that way. I learned all this simply by racing on tracks. I used to be pretty terrible at toge until I started sim racing seriously. Then I learned all this and I could do it instinctually. Now I'm pretty good at a toge. Hopefully all that made sense. I tried to conceptualize it in a very easy to understand way. But don't click off yet. 
make sure you stay tuned because I have yet more tips to show you for toge driving. So my next tip is throttle and brake discipline and control. Using the pedals is just as important as steering. As we've already found out, using the brake and the throttle at the right time throughout a corner will set you up to be a toge god. So let's get on to the next tip. I'm going to show you some onboard footage from this toge and I want you to focus on the track and my pedal inputs. Green is throttle and red is brake. So let's watch that again in slow-mo. And as you can see, my pedal inputs are very precise and confident. Being confident on the pedals is almost as important as steering correctly. If you brake too early for a corner, then you let off the brake and get back on the throttle before entering it, this just equals wasted energy and it will slow you down massively. This goes hand in hand with the steering I taught you earlier. And as you saw in the last example, braking and throttling at the right time is extremely important. You should brake as late as possible and only throttle once you hit the apex. If you throttle before or after the apex, you're just either going way too slow or too fast. There's an example here where I messed up a bit and I had to brake mid corner. So we enter the corner here, everything's looking fine. I get off the brake, I hit the apex and I get back on the throttle. Now we approach the second corner and I slow down. Everything's looking fine. I hit the apex and get back on the throttle. Then I notice there is another corner and I break once again. I didn't really need to break here. I could have throttled all the way out, but this is just an example of bad braking. Here is the corner I messed up on, a nice double apex. And I'm going to show you how I should have approached this corner. So green equals throttle, red is braking, blue is coasting. The black are the apexes. So I throttle up to the corner, I brake and I coast into the corner. Once I apex, I hit the throttle and exit. I coast again to stop accelerating, turn in and throttle on the apex. This is how it should have went down. But instead I did something like this. So hopefully you can see the importance of throttle and braking at the correct times now. So hopefully that made just a little bit of sense. This video was never meant to be a how to get good at toge overnight guide. Uh, I think that would just be impossible really. But hopefully you are now starting to know what you need to learn in order to get good at toge. That is the purpose of this video. I had to find out all this stuff by myself, which is why I'm making this guide really. Hopefully your uh, road to being a toge god will be quicker than mine now. But don't leave here and boot up a set -o. I've still got one more tip to show you. So what we've learned from this video is that treating a public road like a racetrack is a good way to get faster at toge. But many new drivers try this and they usually overdrive the car. I'm sure many of you know what overdriving is and have heard of that term before, but if you haven't, overdriving is what happens when you're trying to brute force more speed. This could include braking way too late, carrying a little too much speed, or getting on the throttle too early. Overdriving is different than just being a bad driver. Overdriving is the feeling of pushing the car hard, but in reality, you're just making yourself slower. It basically works in a feedback loop. You're going slower, so you push harder. Then you go even slower, so you push even harder. And it just is a vicious cycle. Many drivers overdrive, and that is one of the main reasons they aren't getting anywhere in sim racing, to be brutally honest. I used to overdrive cars a lot, especially when I was newer to sim racing. But in recent times, I've learned some ways on how to avoid it. And these are really helpful for toge, to be honest as many people just see the small roads and they just push themselves and the cars way too much. So how do you stop overdriving? What I like to do is take a few slow laps first and get used to the track or the road in this case. Driving slowly really does help calm yourself and not push the car too hard. Not only this, but a few slow laps can help you find braking points and apexes like we mentioned earlier. Once you've done a few slow laps, you can start stepping up the pace. Slowly increase the speed every lap or every, every run in this case. Not overdriving the car means being smooth, which is why I'm showing you the gameplay in the background. You can see I'm not making any jerky steering movements and I'm not mashing the throttle for every corner. I'm using it in moderation. 
starting off slow and focusing purely on hitting every braking point and every apex will make you a faster driver. Even if it feels like you're going slower, you'll be purely focused on hitting the right points and that will give you a faster time. Once you're used to the car and track, your lap times will start increasing naturally and you won't even notice it. You'll gradually work your way up to the limit of the car and then you'll be toge driving. It's as simple as that really. So that was my how to toge video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and comment and share it with your friends if they need to learn how to toge too. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. If this video gets to 100 likes, I'm going to make a how to drift on a toge video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.